Have you ever wondered why particles can exist in two places at the same time? It's a question that has puzzled scientists and philosophers alike. It's a concept that's so far removed from our everyday experiences, it almost sounds like a riddle from a fantasy tale. Yet this is the reality in the realm of the incredibly small, the quantum world. A world where particles can be in multiple states at once, where they can teleport through barriers, and where things can be entangled, instantly affecting each other no matter the distance. This isn't the stuff of science fiction, but a fundamental part of the universe as we understand it today. This is the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics, a theory that challenges our understanding of reality and shakes our intuition to its core. Intrigued? Welcome to the fascinating world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics didn't just appear out of nowhere. Like any monumental scientific theory, it was the product of a series of breakthroughs and insights from brilliant minds. It's a tale of discovery, marked by both collaboration and rivalry, that reshaped our understanding of the universe. At the dawn of the 20th century, classical physics was hitting a brick wall. Theories that had worked well for centuries were failing to explain some strange phenomena. Enter Max Planck, a German physicist who in 1900 made a daring proposal to solve the blackbody radiation problem. He suggested that energy was not continuous, but came in discrete packets, or quanta. This was a revolutionary idea and marked the first step towards quantum mechanics. A few years later, Albert Einstein took Planck's idea and ran with it. In 1905, Einstein proposed that light was made of particles, which he called photons. This was a shocking suggestion because light was thought to be a wave, not a particle. But Einstein's theory explained the photoelectric effect, a phenomenon where light shining on a metal surface causes it to emit electrons. Then came Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist. In 1913, Bohr proposed a model of the atom where electrons orbit the nucleus in specific energy levels. When an electron jumps from one level to another, it emits or absorbs a quantum of energy. Bohr's model could explain why atoms emit light in distinct color lines, a mystery that classical physics couldn't solve. But the final push came from a group of young physicists in the 1920s who developed the mathematical framework of quantum mechanics. This included the wave-particle duality, which states that particles can behave both as particles and waves, and the uncertainty principle, which says that we can't know both the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. These theories were revolutionary and controversial, but they worked. They could explain phenomena that classical physics could not. And thus, the era of quantum physics began. At the heart of quantum mechanics lie a few fundamental principles. First, let's dive into the wave-particle duality. In the classical world, we perceive light as a wave and matter as distinct particles. Quantum mechanics, however, paints a different picture. Light and matter exhibit characteristics of both waves and particles. Picture a pebble skipping across a pond. Now imagine that pebble not just creating ripples, but also being those ripples. That's wave-particle duality for you. Next, we have superposition a principle that takes us into the realm of possibilities. In the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple states at the same time. Imagine you're reading a book, but instead of reading it page by page, you're reading all the pages at once. That's an oversimplified analogy for superposition. Then there's quantization. This concept tells us that energy comes in discrete packets, or quanta. Think of it like a stairway. You can't be between two steps, you're either on one step or the next. This is the essence of quantization. Energy levels are distinct with no in-betweens. Finally, we arrive at the uncertainty principle, the brainchild of Werner Heisenberg. This principle states that you cannot precisely know both the position and the momentum of a particle at the same time. It's like trying to watch a movie and read a book simultaneously. The more attention you pay to one, the less you can comprehend the other. In the quantum world, the more precisely we know a particle's position, the less precisely we can know its momentum, and vice versa. These principles may seem strange, even counterintuitive. After all, they don't align with our everyday experiences. 
But quantum mechanics is not about what seems logical or intuitive to us. It's about what nature reveals when we delve into the smallest scales of the universe. These principles form the backbone of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics isn't just philosophical musings, it's grounded in mathematical rigor. Mathematics is the language that brings the abstract world of quantum mechanics to life. Now, let's delve into the mathematics that underpins this fascinating world. First off, we have wave functions. Picture a wave, oscillating up and down. In quantum mechanics, these wave functions describe the state of a quantum system. They're a bit like a recipe containing all the ingredients or information about a quantum particle's properties. Yet, they don't give us definite answers, only probabilities. You might think of pulling a card from a well-shuffled deck. You know all the possible outcomes, but not which one you'll get. Next up are operators. In the quantum world, these aren't people sitting at a switchboard. Instead, they're mathematical tools used to extract information from the wave function. They operate on the wave function, transforming it in specific ways to reveal the properties of the quantum system. For instance, there's the momentum operator, which can tell us about a particle's momentum, and the Hamiltonian operator, which provides information about its total energy. Finally, we have the Schrodinger equation. Named after Erwin Schrodinger, one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics, this equation is like the rule book of the quantum realm. It describes how quantum systems evolve over time. The Schrodinger equation relates the energy of a quantum system to its wave function and is crucial in predicting the behavior of quantum systems. Now this is a simplified overview. The mathematics of quantum mechanics is indeed much more complex and fascinating. It involves complex numbers, matrices, and many more intricate concepts. But don't worry, you don't need a PhD in mathematics to appreciate the beauty and power of quantum mechanics. It is these mathematical tools that allow us to delve into the quantum world. They provide a framework for understanding and predicting the behavior of particles at the quantum level, opening up a whole new universe of possibilities. So let's continue our journey into this intriguing world of quantum mechanics. But what's the use of quantum mechanics in the real world? Well, it's not just about understanding the universe on a subatomic level. Quantum mechanics has a wide range of practical applications that have radically changed our world. It's like the secret sauce in the technology and science that we use every day. Let's start with electronics. The quantum mechanical phenomenon of electron tunneling is the principle at work in the scanning tunneling microscope. This device allows scientists to visualize atoms and molecules, leading to breakthroughs in fields like nanotechnology and medicine. And how about the field of telecommunications? Quantum mechanics is responsible for the development of lasers and fiber optics. Lasers, governed by the principles of quantum mechanics, are used in a multitude of applications, from barcode scanners at your local grocery store to corrective eye surgeries. Fiber optics, on the other hand, rely on the principle of total internal reflection, a concept made clear through quantum mechanics, enabling the high-speed internet we all enjoy today. Moving on to the realm of computing, Quantum mechanics is paving the way for the next generation of supercomputers. Quantum computers use the principles of superposition and entanglement to process vast amounts of data simultaneously. They hold the promise of solving complex problems that are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. In the field of medicine, quantum mechanics is revolutionizing the way we diagnose and treat diseases. Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or MRI, a widely used medical imaging technique, operates on the principles of nuclear magnetic resonance, a quantum mechanical phenomenon. Chemistry is another field that owes a great deal to quantum mechanics. It provides a theoretical framework for understanding how atoms combine to form molecules, predicting the chemical behavior of matter. Quantum mechanics is the reason we can design new materials and drugs in a lab before even testing them. Quantum mechanics also plays a crucial role in our understanding of the universe. It helps explain the behavior of celestial bodies, from the fusion processes in the sun to the bizarre phenomena in black holes. And let's not forget about GPS systems. They rely on atomic clocks, which are based on the quantum mechanical behavior of atoms. 
Without quantum mechanics, the accuracy of these systems would be off by several kilometers. As we can see, these real-world applications of quantum mechanics are not just confined to advanced scientific research. They are part of our everyday lives, influencing everything from the gadgets we use, the medicines we take, to the way we communicate and navigate. Quantum mechanics has not only helped us understand the fundamental workings of the universe, but also given us the tools to manipulate and harness these principles for technological advancement. It has transformed our world in ways we couldn't have imagined a century ago. So, the next time you use your smartphone, remember, you're holding a piece of quantum mechanics in your hand. It's not just about tiny particles behaving in strange ways. It's about how those tiny particles make our big world work. As you can see, quantum mechanics is more than just a theory. Quantum mechanics isn't just about science, it's also about philosophy and ethics. As we delve deeper into the quantum realm, we encounter profound questions about the very nature of reality itself. The theory's implications challenge our intuitive classical understanding of the world. Take the concept of superposition, for instance. It tells us a quantum particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously until measured. This leads us to the famous Schrodinger's cat thought experiment, where a cat in a box is both alive and dead at the same time until we open the box to check. This defies our everyday experiences and forces us to reconsider what we understand as reality. Then there's the measurement problem. In quantum mechanics, the act of measuring a system fundamentally changes it. So what does this say about objectivity in science if the observer's actions can alter the very thing being observed? It's an issue that stirs much debate among philosophers of science. But it's not just philosophy. Quantum mechanics also raises ethical questions. As we develop quantum technologies, we have to ask, who will have access to them? Will they widen the social divide, as only a privileged few can afford them? And what about privacy? Quantum cryptography promises unbreakable codes, but in the wrong hands, it could also lead to unprecedented surveillance. And let's not forget about quantum computing. With its potential to solve problems traditional computers can't touch, it's a game changer. But what happens when it falls into the wrong hands? It could break current encryption methods, causing a global security crisis. So how do we ensure it's used responsibly? These questions don't have easy answers, and it's up to scientists, ethicists, and policymakers to navigate these murky waters. Quantum mechanics, thus, transcends the boundary between science and philosophy. It's not just a scientific theory, it's a lens through which we view and question our world. Quantum mechanics, thus, transcends the boundary between science and philosophy. So, what does the future hold for quantum mechanics? As we peer into the looking glass of possibilities, it's clear that the realm of quantum mechanics is ever-expanding. Ongoing research and development in this field are pushing the boundaries of our understanding and application of this fascinating theory. One of the most exciting developments is the advent of quantum technologies. These aren't just concepts confined to the pages of science fiction novels anymore. They're real, tangible, and have the potential to revolutionize our world. Quantum computing, for instance, promises to dwarf traditional computing in terms of speed and efficiency. By leveraging the principles of quantum mechanics, such as superposition and entanglement, quantum computers could tackle problems that are currently beyond our reach. From complex climate modeling to cracking the most advanced cryptographic codes, the potential applications are astounding. Then, there's quantum cryptography. It uses the principles of quantum mechanics to provide unprecedented levels of security in data transmission. By using quantum bits or qubits, any attempt at eavesdropping can be detected making it an almost foolproof method of secure communication. But the reach of quantum mechanics doesn't stop at technology. It has the potential to influence various sectors of society. In the medical field, quantum biology might help us understand the intricacies of life at the molecular level. In the energy sector, quantum mechanics could lead to the development of more efficient solar panels, ushering in a new era of sustainable energy. However, like any scientific advancement, quantum mechanics also poses ethical questions. How do we ensure the responsible use of quantum technologies? How do we prevent their misuse? 
These are questions that society will need to grapple with as quantum mechanics continues to evolve. The future of quantum mechanics is a kaleidoscope of promises and challenges. It's a thrilling journey into the unknown, where every discovery opens up a new world of possibilities. And as we continue to delve deeper into this quantum realm, we can only imagine the wonders that await us. Only time can tell what quantum mechanics has in store for us.